to know that you actually exist. The audacity of this would allow some low-level woman to bully anyone. Not, not for now. Not myself. Mine, as brother, she's fake. So how many times do you want me to bend on my knees? I won't. For what? I've done nothing wrong. I only speak the truth and I'm telling you the truth. And so now? I've said sorry more than three times to Vera. So Mine, cheers the truth. It's the truth. We were supposed to bring a plate. She was wearing the plate on her head. Okay. You so now are bitch. Bitch. I'm boss bitch. No, okay, boss bitch, bitch, it's bitch. Oh, I love that. Come back on, come back. You're divorced to whatever it is. I'm not so divorced. Who told you I'm divorced? Who told you I'm divorced? You are. I'm not. Your husband left you so now. Who are you? Go and watch me. You at my house. I'm on my Wikipedia, closet. bitch. I'm on Wikipedia. Are you on Wikipedia? Yes, yes, I am. Are you on Wikipedia? Numbers are what? Numbers mean nothing. Numbers mean nothing. No, numbers are what? Who are these two actually? 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 Who are these two It would make more sense, but she needs toilet roll to wipe the shit that comes out of her mouth. At this point, you see these housewives. <laughs> you see these housewives of Nairobi. See, if you're not watching it, I don't know which rock you're actually sleeping on. See, today's episode was fire for fire. Like it was as if they put a bomb. It's just they put they put what 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 did they even put? Like today's episode was on another level entirely in let me use suzanne's word other times i will have what to say but you see today usually i have a lot to say but tonight <laughs> today's episode was a whole lot but my happiness is that mine has been vindicated when i was talking about mine here some of you were saying oh i don't know what i'm talking about but finally you can now say that mine has been vindicated and i am so happy for mine at this point in time because everything that these housewives were doing ah it was planned like they planned it but it's It's, it's it's time for it to backfire it's actually backfiring so welcome to my youtube channel how you're doing hope you're doing well hope you're staying safe remember to subscribe hit the bell button so you get notified when i make a post and also in the comments box let me know what your thoughts are about this episode of the housewives of nairobi hmm yeah i need to give you for your crown like you people are giving it to us like this housewives of nairobi i am really enjoying it i am enjoying every episode of it like you guys are the, are, are the real deal so this episode started so this episode started with uh, mini and lisa going bowling so mini actually invited lisa for bowling and lisa was actually excited to go bowling with um mini so i'm getting there she now sees um mini's husband mini does the introduction like oh see my husband and then mini um lisa now see lisa is nah lisa is something else at this point in time yes it's good to be vocal it's good to say your mind but there are some things you actually seal like keep it keep it keep it up like seal it Me, Lisa now went ahead to say, oh, it's nice to actually know that there's an actual Charles. I think his name is Charles. Like, there's an actual Charles. It means you are glad to know that you actually exist. The audacity of this woman. How can you... Like, who does that? Like, in my head, I'm like, I don't understand. So, when Mine was saying that she's married, you thought she was lying about it. And I love the way that Mine actually... Mine and her husband made her look very stupid when i said make her look very stupid and said that they've known themselves for 10 years yes the husband said we've known ourselves for 10 years we've been married for seven years like it made her look very stupid like since you think that that child that mine is always talking about like my husband my husband since you're thinking it's fake bear in mind that we've been together for seven solid years like i love the way this they told her to her face like they've been together for seven years hey she's funny she's sneaky known her for 10 years or you've been married for 10 years no, married for 10 years married yeah. for married for like seven like you cannot be petty like that like you cannot be petty see i'm sorry i'm coming for lisa this way because towards in the middle of the video this video i'm going to still talk about but let me just reference why i'm actually pissed with lisa right now is that she's not when she was talking to dr c that's dr katrine and she, she went ahead to say oh the, um, mine is fake and dr katrine like how is mine fake she now goes ahead to say oh her hair is fake and it turns up when i say fake that she's always wearing this to me fake wigs <laughs> hair should not define anyone i think i like her 
with hair without hair in my head i'm like i don't make it make sense is it that the quality of hair she wears is fake or that because she puts on hair that makes her fake i don't get it like it's not making any sense of sense so you yourself are you not making up are you not making up your makeup is not fake so why are you now calling someone else fake so you know what let me not even talk about that i'll talk about it when i get there so that's why you need to watch to the end of this video because there are so many things that happen in this episode that we must talk about it in this channel on this channel so um they now did the whole introduction even her husband self was even disappointed at such comments like why would she make such comments that that sounds she, she's sounding petty that even lisa herself is even old enough to be mine's mother she looks more like mine's mother that's to show you see when an elder does not respect themselves you will create room for insults so that is what mine's husband said in his confessionals he never been petty i thought you know she's like mine's Minimum's age. Now the game started. I'm sorry, but I'm actually very hyper right now. So the game started, but before the game started, Mini actually told Lisa that oh actually ask Lisa, what of your boyfriend, what of your partner? And then Lisa goes ahead to say, Oh no, she's single and all of that. Mini now goes ahead to say, Ah, if she goes deep down there, the cobweb that she will have to sweep or clear, it is too much. I was just laughing. Mini is just the clown at this point in time. So they had an agreement. Mine said, well, if she gets to win, then she's going to look for a boyfriend for um, Lisa. Lisa now says, if she gets to win, she's going to organize an etiquette class for Mine. See, at this point in time, man, I love that, yes, Lisa actually had to call her out, Mine out indirectly for being late. But at the same time, must still have that conversation in front of her husband? Is what I don't understand. Like, even if you want to be petty, yes be petty but can you be petty with respect now said then mine is like what exactly is the etiquette class for she now goes ahead to say um that if you're supposed to travel abroad you will not miss your flight so why else will you be coming late and all of that and all that, all that but unfortunately she did not win the bullying mine won it so i don't know whether mine is actually going to look for a boyfriend for her i don't know so that's not even my problem right now if i start removing the cobwebs on Lisa's pow pow, it will take me as much time to make Vera Sedika a white woman. So we now see Vera and her husband going for workouts. So Vera's husband has actually been complaining that oh Vera does not work out and it's not good for her health and all of that. So she now decided, you know what, let me go and work out. So they went, they worked out, and it was just light workout for her. Be in mind that she's heavily pregnant. I think she's eight months pregnant right now. So after the workout, she now had a conversation with her husband, telling her husband what Sonal said. So from last week, if you watched, Sonal actually made a comment saying that, oh, you know, Sonal was not around on doing her gender review that's doing um vera's gender review so so now is now saying oh that um susan told her something that's during the event the mc announced that um anybody that wants more champagne will have to pay for it this is what she told vera that day of the painting so she was just trying to tell her husband i see what veras um see what so now said do and then the husband said you know what i think the best person to confront is actually susan since it's susan that actually told so now and you and susan actually good friends oh susan uh, confirm come on maybe yeah um, so, my, so, my so my husband does think it's important for me to confront susan because uh he knows that susan and I, I are very good friends so i think you should confront um susan in of so now so the next thing we are seeing is dr katrine and susan going for um going to exercise basically but it was just like a tennis exercise so they came with their daughters then after the whole exercise they now sat down to have a conversation and then susan now asked them dr katrine how she actually felt about mine's event bear in mind that during mine's event they're actually trying to bring mine down in front of dr katrine so she now asked that same question again and dr katrine was like that is that's fine susan now wanted to say um that mine is always bringing trouble mine is always doing this Mine, um, susan also said that mine is fake that she felt like Mine was she was just trying to bash Mine. Like she was just trying to bash Mine. She has ruined all our dinners. Then you oh, serve us some more stuff. Yeah, she did that. Yeah. So you can't ruin a seven cost meal. But I don't think this event was about the food, even the wine they were serving. It was about the food for the mind. And during Dr. Catherine's confessional, she said that if these ladies do not know who Mine is from what she 
did during her event, then it's a pity. I love that Dr. Catherine. See, at this point in time, I think Dr. Catherine is actually my best cast at this point in time because she's so black, like she's so free. She's like her opinions are mature. See, this is what you mean by what an elder sees when he or she sits sits down. A young person will not see when they climb up. Like when you're old, you should be matured upstairs. Like when people are telling you something, you don't just judge people based on one side. That is not what it should be. But I love that Dr. Catherine, yes, you're trying to bash this girl in front of me. Dr. Catherine said, I like the girl. Like no matter what you are saying, I still like the girl. <laughs> so after that whole conversation, so why are we even having that conversation? Dr. Catherine now said, can you guess what? We've actually been sitting here for 15 minutes talking about me name. Like, you see why you need to respect Dr. Catherine? She's matured. Like, how would I be spending 15 minutes of my time talking about somebody? That means the person is important. You're making the person relevant. Yeah, like, so actually, sat here 15 minutes and talked about me. Done. Can we go? So I really love Dr. Catherine. Like, that girl or that woman, ah, she got it for me. Like, she's my best cast so far. <laughs> So the next scene we are seeing is Dr. Catherine actually inviting Lisa over to her home. So when she came to her home, um, Dr. Catherine took her around, welcomed her, then they now went to actually have like a dinner, proper dinner. So while they were there, that conversation again of how they saw, it was actually um, Lisa that brought up that conversation of what do you think about Minnie's events? And then she now decided to say, oh, it was okay that she likes Minnie and all that. Then Lisa now went ahead to say that she feels Minnie is fake. And Dr. Catherine and um, Dr. Catherine now asked her, why do you think she's fake? She now says her fake hair. In my head, I'm like, I don't get it. I know I've talked about this, but let me talk about it really quick here. Like, how would you say somebody's hair is fake? Are you not making up, sister or auntie? Are you not making up? Like, I feel this is actually shaming somebody because you have the hair doesn't mean that we blacks do not respect our hair. I just, it doesn't even make any sort of sense saying that she's fake because of the hair she wears. She wears fake, even if the hair is fake. It's not better she's wearing a hair that is around maybe what she can afford rather than going to fake it. Like sometimes human beings, we just put unnecessary pressure on other people. Expectations, just putting unnecessary expectations on other people. And when they now fall, sir, you begin to drag them. Like, what? Tell me exactly why Lisa would actually make such a statement. And then Dr. Catherine now said, well, she doesn't say anything wrong with that. That she, why she's actually on local because she suffered from, uh, she's suffering from alopecia. To even think that Lisa does not understand what is the mean of alopecia. Hey, <laughs> cut. <laughs> See, I'm giving. See, Lisa. Lisa is a case. Like I've always tried to tolerate Lisa, but today's episode, she was a mess. Yes, take it from me, she was a mess. Where is it, right? Whether she was acting or not, I actually don't care. Anyone did not understand Mine on the day of her event, then they missed the whole point. Like you do not know what is alopecia, and then you are dragging somebody. Ha. Huh. Well, Dr. Catherine had to explain to her what it was, and then after that, she now she, that scene that was just the the highlight of that that particular scene. So we move on to the next scene where we see Susan actually hosting the ladies to a wine tasting, more like that. Bear in mind that um um Dr. Catherine is actually going to launch her wine wine very soon like on this episode so when she actually told when susan actually told dr catherine that she's going to invite them for wine tasting dr catherine wasn't really happy about it because she's like how many wines would these people have with these women have in just the space of one week so susan is inviting them for wine tasting today and then the next day again is dr catherine's launch of her wine brand so dr catherine was not really happy but she just kind of took it in and now the day of the event came all the housewives came except Mini. she did not invite Mini for this in my head i like it's even better it's even better so like no invite Mini. let my girl sit down and rest so i put some drag because they've dragged Mini for so long so um all the housewives came they all sat down and they were actually very excited then the essence actually of this whole wine tasting yes susan had a very perfect thought like they 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 what's now what what word will i use now the intention the intentions were amazing like susan 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 did her best like 
she she surprised me like she surprised me so the intention of this wine tasting was actually to introduce dr katri to the owner of this bar because i think this bar is actually like one of the biggest in nairobi just so that um susan sorry just so that dr katri can actually stock her wine with this bar so the intentions were very like it was i love the intention i think we would like to partner so i love that so when the day came um susan actually introduced dr katrin to the owner of the bar and then dr katrin and the owner of the bar actually agreed on their contract terms and all that so right now once um dr katrin launches her wine brand she's going to actually stop with these people so because of that dr katrin decided to also extend like appreciation to susan like based on okay you made me seal this contract she now decided to organize a band for for um susan so the band came sang songs gave her flowers as well gave susan flowers as well then she, um dr katrina now used this opportunity to invite all the ladies for her launching like her wine launch i planned to surprise her with a band that i really like with a song that i like first of all to celebrate her and at the same time invite them to my event so why do i still having a conversation the next person that walks in and she walks in late is vera <laughs> so vera comes in she kind of she kind of gave um so now a warm hug now greeted the all, all others and this is the first time that vera will actually be meeting dr Catherine. so they introduce themselves and all that so why are you having that conversation they were just talking generally so now i brought up the conversation of oh um i want to clarify something that um based on what i told you um she was trying to talk to vera now based on that whole champagne thing that susan told her like i'm trying to clarify something that this was what susan said susan said that the, this was what the mc said and vera was not having it vera is like I don't get it i'm the one i supposed to confront susan not you why are you bringing it up here you like see what annoyed me with sonal on this particular episode is that if sonal had said half of the things she said on that table to um vera the day she was telling vera they would not have been a problem but sonal decided to turn things around so now decided to beat about the bush so now decided to be tricky when she was telling vera that thing that day because on that day she actually told vera that straight like her sentence was plain like it was not even more than 10 words she went ahead to tell vera that oh i heard that um the mc announced that um if you want more champagne you have to pay for it and now today you are now trying to explain who told you to explain why didn't you explain all of this last week why are you now explaining it here it wasn't making any sort of sense if she had done this explanation last week trust me there would have not been a problem so um vera was not having any of it vera even had to ask lisa that was there shortage of champagne um during the event and vera was like um, lisa was like no there was not nothing like she was even popping popping and she didn't even drink i'm the one with the issue i'm supposed to be the one confronting susan and then you explain yourself why are you explaining yourself before i confront susan so that scene now ended and now comes the um launch of dr Catherine's wine brand so that day came um she told the ladies to come with a plate a plate that tells a story so that was the Team, come with a play that tells the story the first person that actually came is Mine, my girl <laughs> i don't know why i like me new but Mine, my girl came first so she's just trying to prove that she can actually confess i'm happy about this like can you be keeping to time i hate it when people don't keep to time it annoys me the more when they tell you an event is for three and then you're now coming four hours late four hours late to do what is it to come and sweep clear up the place wash up the plate exactly what are you like you think i will be jobless like i don't have anything doing that i'll leave my house at three o'clock and come then i'll now wait for you as a queen to come four hours late no i don't tolerate such at all so but today Minnie actually she was actually the first person to come then followed by lisa and then 
Susan. So Lisa, her excuse for coming late is because she had to drive with them, um, Susan. So Susan actually kind of delayed her. Trust me, needs always try and, and 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 drag Lisa for that. Like Lisa, I came early. I came before you today. I'm oh, still being late. How does it feel being late, Lisa? I love it. <laughs> I oh, you love first. being late? I love. No, I love that you've actually made an effort and come here first. I always make effort. <laughs> all of that so they were just having their conversation then so now came and um, vera did not come yet she came very late hmm. so after the whole welcoming um dr catherine took them inside to go and see more like how the wines are mixed how what constitute the wines all of that all of that later on the housewives now decided to actually mix their own when they were done with all of that, they now went for dinner. So at the dinner table is now when they're supposed to tell their stories of, you know, she had already told them, come with these plates that tells the story. One of the things we ask the ladies to do is to come with a plate that tells a story. So they just had that conversation. So first person that actually did her introduction was um, the host, Dr. Catherine. She did her introduction, then followed by Susan. I did not see this coming. I did not see this petty Susan coming. Like, okay, not petty Susan, former petty Susan. I did not see her coming this time around. So she now came with the plate, talked about oh that she's she's coming on the clean slate, that she's coming for peace. I'll be what what what. I'm going to leave a clip of all that she said, Sha. And I think you don't really know people until you start to know them. Today, let's make peace. Let's make peace. Let's make peace. So Mine, cheers to truth. It's the truth. And for the first time, I actually see the real Mine. Imagine that. So she now um, looked at um, at um, Mine and told her that oh, she wants to reconcile, let them squash their beef and all of that. And Mine was actually, she said no problem, that she's ready to settle all of that, all of that. Then next person that stood up was uh, Mini actually accepted the apology and the extended hands of friendship and all of that. Then um, later on, after so many hours, when the event was was done, that was when Vera now popped in. In my head, I'm like, okay, Vera, what are you coming to do? What exactly? I, I understand you're pregnant. I understand the stress that comes with it. But I think it's more honorable to actually not come at all and give an excuse and say, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't come because I was not feeling fine. But I think she actually came because she had a motive. So if not for this motive, I'm sure she wouldn't have come. So when she, after the whole dinner was over, the ladies now went for round fire, bonfire, soft stuff. So while they were there, hmm, Vera actually let loose like vera gave it to us like i wasn't even i didn't even see this coming i vera that is always smiling you know what thing i loved about vera from episode one is that no matter what they are doing she's just smiling like she's just smiling and drink like vera was someone that if you say drink was her mind your business that was vera at that point in time so but today vera came with fire brimstone lightning thunder just name it that was what vera came with so vera now said that um she wants to address something that um so now you said certain things and when susan was trying to talk so vera now said can you just keep quiet then that was how the whole bashing started hey. but for me in my head susan i'm thinking how about you say nothing like you so now are bitch i'm not bitch I'm no you are not because bitch. why would you I'm, bring I'm not it bitch. up i'm boss bitch no, okay, boss bitch, bitch, it's bitch. Bitch is bitch. It's not bitch. Kundani, kundani. Vera Nam goes ahead to say, you're a B. You're a, she's just using the B word. And then, so now it's like, yes, I'm a boss bitch. <laughs> Vera Nam said, a donkey is a donkey. So whether you're a boss bitch, you're still a bitch. That is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, this is very insulting. Is it? But when I lost it, like, when I really got pissed is when Vera had to drag, like, she actually dragged um, this person's family. So now it's family into the whole conversation. Like, no, you can have conversation with people. You can have misunderstanding with people. You can quarrel with people. But please, can we leave it at both of us? Like, you have a misunderstanding with me. Leave it as me, me, me. Don't involve my family. So I did not understand what she meant by you're a baby mama. It made no sense at all. You are currently pregnant. Your first child is not the daughter of the man you're currently pregnant for. 
So what exactly are you trying to imply? Saying that you're a baby mama, it made no sense. That was the height of it. Like Vera, in case you come across this picture, I've across this video, that was that was so wrong. It was very, very, very wrong of you. She didn't even end it there. She now goes ahead to say you're a divorced and all of that. In my head, I'm like, I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Why are you bringing her family here? Why are you saying she's divorced? I'm Listen, you're, you're I'm not, not married. You're not, yes, I'm a baby so mama. I am married. Who is a baby mama? You I'm a baby mama. I'm a baby mama. You will not talk about my family, period, dot, now. And then when so now I was trying to say I'm not divorced, she now goes and say, your husband left you. Nah, 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 nah. We should be, we can have misunderstandings, but there should be a line that shouldn't be crossed if you ask me. So I think at this point in time, Vera crossed the line and she also now an apology. Yes, I know that apology might not come, but this is my sincere um, opinion that she actually owes so now an apology. Yes, I actually blame so now for that conversation she told um um vera because one that was a personal conversation you had with susan you shouldn't have brought it out bringing it out is like you're trying to bring it out so that you can shame her for not having money but irrespective of that vera crossed the line for saying that she's a baby mama for saying she's divorced or she's um her husband drove her out that is actually that that's that's deep you can't go that is bottom low like she went so low to the lowest of the lowest ah no i was really disappointed at this point in time so that conversation or that argument it really went from zero to a million because nobody saw it coming the way they started ah it was bad it was very bad it was really bad when i say it was bad it was bad i'm going to still leave clips you're going to see how bad it was then let me know in the comment section what you think about um today's episode of the housewives of nairobi are you happy now that mine is in good sense so when mine and susan actually squashed their beef we now see so now and vera bringing up the fire <laughs> interesting it's interesting to see so i'll see you in my next video which is coming up tomorrow housewives of abuja so if you don't subscribe, please kindly subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified if I make a post. I'll see you in my next video. And bye. And you bring your pregnancy as an excuse. I've had four children this time of my friends. I don't give a shit. Neither do I. Generally, my name is Maharani. Girl, you're speaking to the queen of Google. I mean, what in the world? I'm fucking Google.